Welcome to the Boeing factory, taking this brand new 777 freighter to its new home today. $350 million machine, 105 tons of cargo, biggest twin engine freighter here. 13 hours and 5 minutes in the flight. So what the engineer do on the delivery flight? Isn't that incredible? We just saw the moonrise, a full moon today. We're just looking at the northern lights. Dancing. Oh, look at that. Dancing. It's not easy actually climbing up here. Well, self-service here. We fly over it so that we can get the aircraft certified for RVSM. Obtain 180 minutes ETOPS. Expecting some wind shear on landing. 10, 5. The delivery flight started with dispatch inside Boeing Delivery Center. Here are the details. We're at the uh, Boeing dispatch uh, room here to uh, go over with the crew the flight plan and routing uh, that the company sent over uh, for Alpha Zulu Gulf 7707 uh, Silkways uh, brand new 777 freighter. Uh, with me is my partner Kathy, uh, one of our dispatchers. Uh, we're just going to be going over the particular route, uh, weather and route, any, any issues, um, as well as any potential weather uh, divert alternates if, if they should need it, as well as home station destinations. So. This is a rough estimate of what you're looking at along your route here. On the way out, um, just probably a little bit of uh, weather over Edmonton right now. For the most part right now, uh, last I checked, Goose Bay, as well as um, BGSF and Catholic, they are looking fantastic. You got a little bit of a cell working this way here, this low pressure system here, but you should be uh, able to be a little bit more north of that as well for your route here. Um, for the most part, the rest of your route here through the UK is going to just be a little bit scattered thunderstorms here in the usual evening as well. But uh, the rest of the way there should be clear. 3% freighter G90110B1L engine. Kilo Papa Alpha Echo 34 left, full length, condition dry, wind 3409 knots, 12 degrees to 995. Optimum, flaps optimum, AC auto, engine, engine and wing auto, forward limit 232 500 takeoff weight. Use flaps 5, takeoff 2. 83.8, assume temperature 51. Sure. Check V1, 149, 150, and 153. And I just got on board a 777 freighter. Um, at the forward section, there is actually a couple passenger seats here for cargo attendants and supernumeraries. And then we have the cockpit in front, the crew bunk, and then behind us is completely cargo hold. So there's a little door here. I just came over from the front and here, this is the massive cargo deck. 105 tons of cargo. That's the capacity of this uh, biggest twin engine freighter here. And today, as you can see, no cargo out of Boeing factory to carry. Just a couple suitcase and me as the cargo here. Well, everything on this freighter is brand new. Look at the uh, rails. Look at the wheels, look at all these locks. There's no cargo been, ever been on this airplane yet. Hi, good afternoon, my name is Captain Lassim. Uh, today we are taking our brand new 777 freighter from the Painfield Everett to destination Baku. 13 hours and 5 minutes in the flight and speed will be 0.85. Captain Jeremy from the Boeing uh, as an instructor joining this flight. Takeoff briefing. In the event I'll decide to reject takeoff, I will call Recheck, close the thrust, disconnect the autopilot, rise the speed brake, ensure maximum braking, control the airplane, and apply the reverse thrust on operating engine by your call. One, two, three, four, five, six, six minutes. So we are ready to leave the Boeing factory now.
after some time we are finally going the engine started taxiing now now we are at four joining me we have four staff going on board this delivery flight two engineers all right we're going to talk about the engineering later and uh, team leader and um, also an expert on board we have the uh, traffic turning up inside, we're clear to departure on it. Clear take off on my 34 left and then to 5,000 feet for the Southern Coast Lines. Thanks for asking. All right. Cruising level 37,000 uh, with the D-rate power, so we can see how powerful this aircraft are, is. Okay, Sam. So um, what we're doing now, instead of uh, using the uh, the comms here, using voice comms, we're sending messages. Um, this is an official way of communicating with ATC, and it's called CBDLC Controller Pilot Datalink Communications. So we've just been uh, handed over to uh, Edmonton. That's our controller, and they simply asked us to confirm our routing, uh, and that's it for now. So basically, we're going to be sending messages instead of using uh, our VHF for now. Here's why I love flying cargo airplane. Captain serving us in the galley here. Yes. What do we have today? We saw kind of fruits from Boeing. We have some sandwiches. Sandwiches. I think it's uh, vegetables. Oh, some vegetable wraps. Yeah. Some salads, some vegetables, strawberries. Uh, Where is the meat? No meat. I think it's here. Wow. It's a long flight, 13 hours. Yeah, 14 hours. We have to eat something. Okay, Sam, so let's talk about our routing today. We're departing from the Seattle game field cross the border with Canada. After Canada we will pass south part of the Greenland, south of the Iceland. Through UK we will cross all the continental Europe, down to the Black Sea, Turkey, Georgia and then we are entering to Azerbaijan. In the middle of the flight it's getting quiet. I'm with the engineer here. I'm always interested to know what the engineer do on the delivery flight to sign off everything and take the flight from Boeing factory. We started this project almost one year before. Uh, all project starts from the first conf uh, configuration. We, ha we have to configure aircraft. We have to search uh, from the options which is available from Boeing. And then after we have to design the livery to provide our livery. And this process normally took around five, six months. Once all configuration defined, Boeing start is manufacture. Manufacture of the aircraft, production. And during this production, we have around two times or one time per week, we have telephone meetings with Boeing. And during these meetings, Boeing provide any questions, we have to provide our answers. So it's a mostly technical, meetings. Sam, once Boeing confirmed that the aircraft is ready for delivery, we came to Seattle, to Everett, Boeing Delivery Center and start our check of the aircraft. So we check it engines, we check it fuselage, we check it all systems. All access was open and we check everything to be to be sure that 
aircraft doesn't have any mistakes or whatever. Once everything confirmed, we give green, green lights that we agree with the aircraft. Yesterday we had a beautiful Brazilian barbecue, picanha in the steakhouse. But today we have this uh, microwave, what is it, oven stick. But you have to satisfy what you have. That's cargo uh, pilot life. Isn't that incredible? We just saw the moonrise, a full moon today. Actually today, 29th September, is the Meat Autumn Festival. The Chinese Meat Autumn means a full moon. And uh, we're supposed to celebrate with moon cake. As the sky getting darker gradually, we were treated to another phenomenon, the Northern Light. We're just looking at the northern lights and we've been seeing them for the last 30 minutes and now we can start to see uh, it's sort of streaming now and uh, it's a little bit harder to see because it's a very bright moon in fact we've got a full moon uh, but it's still very vivid despite that you can see it shimmering shimmering see it's moving yeah it's it's dancing oh, look at that dancing can you see it wow wow whoa. i have never seen it as good as this we're lucky today. Yeah. Sam, are you tired? Very tired. Very I have sleepy. a bed here just for sleep. You have bed here? Let's see, what you have? You really have? Yeah. Take rest. Up and down. All right, I'm gonna climb up and try out the bed here. It's not easy actually climbing up here. Oof. Ruby, when you get in here, I'm gonna close the door. This is the second nicest crew rest. Only second to the 747 8 I've tried. And now I'm gonna take a nap and see you guys. and Captain Anar. We just in Icelandic airspace, pass a couple of the way to Baku. And you can see the sunrise. Yeah, I heard you actually joined Silkway day one. Yeah, what kind of airplane true. you flew? That's true. I joined Silkway from day one with Anton of 12. Oh, you need a lot of muscles to fly that airplane. Yeah, that's true. You need some muscles there. Then, Joint Illusion 76 is also a plane now fleet. In 2010, a Joint Boeing 747 400 freighter. And now we are delivering brand new 777 freighter. And we expect also 777 8F to join our fleet in the near future. I know you guys using uh, iPad and um, electronically, but why are you still using the paper chart here? Just for cross-check, in case of we have some problem with our IRS system, I take my uh, coordinates from GPS and put it on the map and uh, find out where I am, or left or right or track, and just cross-check for cross-check. We just passed uh, Linz, um, and we purposely put Linz, which is uh, in Austria, in our flight plan. Um, so we fly over it so that we can get the aircraft certified for RVSM. There's a height monitoring unit down there which checks exactly what our height is to make sure that we are accurate and then we will be certified for reduced vertical separation minima. And what exactly is RVSM? RVSM is um, a way of managing airspace where we can basically increase the load so we can put more aircraft in. In the past without RVSM aircraft were separated by 2,000 feet. So that would limit the amount of aircraft going through certain airspace. When you reduce that minima to a thousand feet separation, you can have one aircraft going 
uh, say for example at 390, another one coming the other way at 380. So you're only going to have, it's a reduced minima of 1,000 feet. So to be able to do that, the altimetry or at least the systems on board the aircraft have to be incredibly accurate. This is the uh, cargo airplane galley. All self-service here. Cook your own meal, pour your own orange juice and coffee. So I know there was lots of people interested getting on a delivery flight. Now, the answer how to get on a delivery flight is you need to be invited by an airline. The airline are the customer of manufacturers like Boeing or Airbus. Uh, once you get invited by the airline and the manufacturer will work together and they agree to bring you on board and then this is why I'm here. So Sam, uh, now we have brand new twin engine aircraft in our fleet at the Silkway West. Uh, before we were operating four engine aircraft, which is 747, and there we did not need any ETOPS approval. For this airplane, we have to uh, apply to the Civil Aviation Authority to obtain 180 minutes ETOPS. Uh, what ETOPS 180 means? It means with one engine we can reach the airport which will be within 180 minutes over the ocean, which is giving us a huge opportunity to fly over the ocean. Uh, without ETOPS, let's say, we could fly only 120 minutes. So our flight progressed well. We're one hour ahead of landing now. And uh, I didn't actually sleep in the crew bunk. I was just showing you guys, there's two flat bed there. Those are reserved for our pilots because they're flying us today. And I slept on this recliner a few hours, pretty good. It was a very special flight because it's not like a, a passenger delivery flight. Um, you know, I got to see firsthand how the pilot doing accepting the flight, documentation, dispatch, and then they talk about a new airplane to getting certified by ETOPS to getting activated for RVSM. So there's a lot of technicality I've learned today. And at the end, I just want to say, what a phenomenal airplane, the Boeing 777, prove itself. It came out 30 years ago in 1994 with a baseline A model. And nowadays, the freighter is still selling and going strong. This is a $350 million machine. And I can't wait when the 777X come out and the 777 family so it'll go 20, 30 more years to come. Initial contact. That you have information. Juliet. Some wind shear on landing. It's always pretty windy in Baku, so we're a little bit wobbling in the shoe box. 20, 10, 5. Oh, that's a nice landing. Good. Welcome back home.